you very much, Christy. I'm joined in studio by a very special guest, the pride of Maquoketa, Iowa. Ladies and gentlemen, NFL quarterback Sage Rosenfels joins me in studio. How are you, Sage? I'm doing great, Dad. Thanks for having me in today. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's great to see you again. It's a beautiful day in the Midwest. I was uh, driving through town, actually, from Iowa City. I was working Tim Dwight's football camp today. Oh, cool. And uh, heading to Omaha for for a couple weeks. So uh, it's great to have a chance to stop in. Absolutely. And uh, we're here, obviously, because uh, you got a big event coming up on uh, Friday, July 8th at the uh, TCI Golf Course in Polk City. Yeah, I've got a couple events here. You know, Kyle Orton and I, uh, we did our first football camp last summer out at Southeast Polk. And we're doing that again this year, July 9th and 10th. But mm-hmm. this year, we're adding a golf tournament on July 8th. Uh, Golfing for Miracles is, is the website, golfingformiracles.com. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be a blast. We're raising a lot of money for, for charity, and, and we're going to have a lot of celebrities out there, uh, some NFL guys. I think Kyle Corver might make it out. I just talked to him yesterday, so uh, going to be a fun time, and, uh, and hopefully a lot of people can join us. Yeah, Golfing for Miracles benefits the Children's Miracle Network and also the University of Iowa Children's Hospital as well, so going to a great cause. Now, this is a uh, folks' opportunity to, uh, well, share the course with you and Kyle. Yeah, yeah, not and not just Kyle. Now, as I said, you know, we uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some friends here, some NFL guys. I think Brian Greasy just uh, confirmed yesterday that he's gonna cool. come in, and I think Tim Dwight, Eddie Berlin uh, are, are also gonna come in. So, and I'm sure sure many many more guys, some Iowa State guys, Austin Arnod, uh, trying to get some Iowa guys over here. I think Lavar Wood said he's gonna come in also, trying to get Jared DeVries. So I was on the phone all yesterday as I'm driving through uh, the great state of Iowa and uh, trying to get as many friends uh, that I have to, to come to the tournament. So you know, Deary Brothers has really stepped up and, and been our title sponsor and been very very supportive i grew up in eastern iowa where, where they're originally b- based and i know they've moved out here to central iowa now and and uh you know what a great way to sort of kick off their new uh facility out there in pleasant hill with, with sponsoring this great event absolutely now you mentioned uh some hawkeye names in there some cyclones i haven't heard a wolverine there so uh we're mixing it up here to uh, at this uh, tournament yeah, yeah it should be fun i mean maybe uh maybe afterwards we'll have a little seven on seven on on, <laughs> on the first hole or something sweet dairy brothers chevrolet is the presenting sponsor of golfing for miracles uh, but also also, some other great sponsors uh, to be mentioned. Terrace a Real Estate Group is involved, Rasmussen Group, Bankers Trust, uh, the Electrical Workers, Local 347, Prairie Meadows, and of course, here, us at the Des Moines Radio Group, and uh, Shields is also involved, too, this year. So. Yeah, you know, Kyle and I, uh, earlier this spring, uh, you know, before this whole lockout thing all started, uh, earlier this spring, we we around Des Moines and, and went to a lot of these businesses, and I tell you, it was amazing how easy it was, uh, how, this, how the city of Des Moines stepped up with, with these great companies, these great businesses, to, to support our cause, and uh, we, we've gotten a lot. Uh, we've been very, very lucky in, in our lives and our careers, and, and we want to give back to the place that we're from, and that's this great state of Iowa. And, and I was in the Des Moines area. You know, Kyle grew up here. I went to college 30 minutes north uh, at Iowa State. So uh, we want to give back, and, and this is, I guess, our way of doing it. It's not just uh, the money for the charities, but they're also getting a lot out of this, too. It should be mentioned, in addition to a round of golf with cart at TCI, which, by the way, is a beautiful course. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I haven't played it, but uh, I, I keep hearing great things. It is. You also get lunch and dinner, your photo taken with Sage and Kyle, a Golfing for Miracles polo shirt, a chance to win a 2011 Chevy Cruze from Deary Brothers Chevrolet, and an opportunity to bid in a silent auction featuring NFL swag. I understand you got a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, you know, I've been sort of collecting things, uh, as I said, uh, this spring. There, there's been some nice things and negative things to this lockout. One of the nice things, I've had a little more time to, to focus on this event and, and collect things from around the country. Actually, Kurt Warner just sent me a ball yesterday, and uh, and that type of stuff. Chad Greenway, I just got a ball signed from him yesterday as I left uh, Minneapolis. So we're, we're going to have some good, good things there. And, and again, one, I want everyone to have a lot of fun. And two, we, everyone knows why we're there. And we're there to raise money for, for children, which is, uh, you know, I think dear to all of our hearts. Absolutely it is. That's going to be a busy weekend for you guys. Friday, July 8th, of course, is the golf tournament, Golfing for Miracles at TCI in Polk City. But then you mentioned as well your football camp with Kyle Orton happening at Southeast Polk High School, Kyle's alma, alma mater. And that's happening that Saturday and Sunday then, the 9th and 10th. Yeah, you know, Ken Orsman, the, uh, the athletic director there, has really stepped up and, and just done an amazing job for us. He was Kyle. I was a football coach in high school, and and we had our first camp last year. Uh, we limited it to about 250 kids, which, you know, being our first year last year, we weren't sure how it was going to go, and it really went fantastic. We had great feedback, so this year uh, we wanted to do it again, and we wanted to make it bigger and better. So uh, we think we're going to have about 500 kids there. That's sort of our max, uh, probably 250 younger kids, 250 older kids. And, and uh, again, it's out, the, out, at, the, out at Southeast uh, Polk High School on July 9th and 10th. Uh, I think it starts around 8.15 in the morning on uh, on the on the 9th and 10th, and, and the older kids during the afternoon around 11 so uh, we should have a great time again have a lot of ha- we'll have a lot of young coaches out there as well I, you know, I, I said Tim Dwight Eddie Berlin gonna have some barnstormer guys out there some Iowa State guys out there some cur- some current players at Iowa and Iowa State cool. uh, and obviously some former guys so should be a great mix 
Sage Rosenfels is my special guest. Now, Sage, you're a quarterback for the New York Football Giants. Uh, you were a quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings, which happens to be my team. I'm from Minneapolis, and I got to say, man, I, this, I, I have to take the advantage of, of having you here in the studio and the opportunity to say to you, God, we miss you, Sage. Yeah, you know, it. Uh, I tell you, I was there. I was just there for about a year, year and a half, only <laughs> yep. one season. And uh, I, I personally had a great experience. Uh, you know, they, they do really do have a fantastic owner in, in Ziggy Wilf. Uh, you know, it's a great organization, great people, great teammates. You know, I talked to Chad Greenwig yesterday, and and uh, we're sort of talking about how nice it would have been to be there this year. You know, have a nice veteran there. Yep. They just drafted a first rounder. It, w- it would have been a perfect mix. But you know, I, I, I've moved on, and and the New York Giants are are uh, you know I think happy to have me, and it's it's a great state to play in. Obviously, being in New York is a, is a once in a lifetime experience. You bet. Uh, I've gotten to. I've to work with Eli and, and know him really well and become good friends with him and and take his money on the golf course and all that type of stuff. So uh, it's it's been a, it's been a great experience. We had, we had a pretty good year last year, ten and six. Yes, uh, it's, you know obviously with the competitive uh, league that we have, it wasn't good enough to make the playoffs. But uh, you know we think we have a huge advantage. I think this year. Uh, being that you know, there's so many teams that have new coaches or new coordinators. You know, they've had the same staff there for about seven years. Uh, a lot of the players are, are veterans of that team. So you know, with this whole craziness with the lockout and that type of yeah. stuff, we do feel like we we're going to have a little bit of advantage o- over some of these other teams. Hakeem Nix, he is the man. Yeah, I tell you what, the guy wears uh, size 4X gloves, and uh, it's, it's amazing that the catches that he makes, the hands that he has. So you know, he's he's got some he's got some faults, and we're trying to you know we're trying to work on some of the things that he doesn't do well. I mean, he does a lot of things. Where obviously, he plays the ball probably as good as anybody mm-hmm. uh, in the NFL, and and uh, you know the fade routes and the go routes and all that type of stuff. So we got to work on some of those other things. But he's a great guy, works hard, and uh, I think he's going to have a good 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 year again this year. He plays like he's about six eight, and I think he's only about six feet tall. So. Yeah, he's really not that. Tall. Yeah. You know, it's one of those guys like Chris Chambers. I don't remember that name. A Wisconsin Badger. He was only That's like five right. eleven, but yep. everyone thought he was about six four. So <laughs> he's one of those types of guys. Oh, uh, big! Uh, this is really cool to have you in studio again. An honor to have you here, and we look forward to some great events coming up in early July. Again, golfing for miracles is uh, Friday, July eighth, followed by the uh, Sage Rosenfels and Kyle Orton Passing Camp, the ninth and tenth at Southeast Polk. Again, thank you very much for your time. And uh, one last thing, if I may. How's this lockout thing going to end? Do you think? I know you're getting asked all over, but uh, you know, well, hopefully it ends by uh, you know both sides equally compromising. You know, I, I, and I know the players are up for compromising. We want to play the game. You know, we know that we don't have long careers. We know that the owners have that leverage over us. That yeah. you know, we don't, we can't own a team for for twenty or thirty years. You know, we we know our careers are. Well, sometimes one, two, three years, and, and hopefully even longer than that. But we know that every year is very bi- viable. So we want to play. Uh, we want to get back at it. Um, but we, all, we also want to try to make it fair and, and, uh, and try to strike a good deal that, that lasts a long time. You know, it, it wouldn't make any sense to strike a deal that we wouldn't be happy with or the owners wouldn't be happy with, and now two years we're back at the same spot. Sure. So hopefully we can get a figure out uh, on our own. You know, the big boys can, can grow up a little bit and get us all figured <laughs> out. And I, and I think it'll happen. I think everyone's uh, looking forward to it, actually getting done with it and get back in the field let's hope so you know i mentioned i'm a vikings fan but above all sage i'm a big football fan so uh thank you very much again for coming in you brought your son peyton it's your first time in a radio station how do you think your dad did uh, i think he did pretty good i think your dad is a pro <laughs> in more ways than one that kid sure is handsome isn't he yes he is good looking kid too yeah good looks just kid. like me <laughs> <laughs> thanks again sage thank you so much and best all the best to you and your family again thanks for having me on absolutely back into the rock block ladies and gentlemen allison chains here's wood on laser 103.3